let's talk about what you would do if you have the students working on media type projects and you want a place for them to turn them in through Schoology. So let's say, for example, you're having your students work on photoshopping images of tools or, you know, creating advertisements for tools. Um, you're going to want a place for them to turn those in. So we're going to talk about how to create a media file. I'm going to go to my courses and let's say my practice course is the course that's creating these photoshopped images. Now I want a place again, like I said, for them to turn them in. I'm going to go to add materials. I'm going to go to where it says add media album. And then I'm going to create a media album for them to turn in their work. So let's say photoshopped tool advertisements. And I'm going to say for the description, turn in your photoshopped images here. Right? Now, once you create that, you are going to want to make sure that this little guy is highlighted where it says instructors and students can add media. If you unhighlight him, only you'll be allowed to add the media. The students won't be allowed to add media. So I'm going to highlight him so I can make sure my students can add media. And I'm going to hit create. Now, once you do this, your students and yourself can add media to this file up to a size of 512 megabytes. So this is videos, pictures, music files. So let's attach a file just to see how this works. So it's going to go into my computer and I'm going to choose a picture of a tool. All right, and I'm going to hit open. It's going to go through the process of uploading the image. Once my image has uploaded, Let's see how fast this internet connection will work for us. It's uploading, uploading. We're almost there. We're almost there. Almost there. I apologize for this taking so much time. All right, once it's uploaded, we're gonna hit add media. And then in your folder, you're going to see the picture and you're going to see who added that picture right above them. So the students can then go in through their Schoology accounts and upload their images from um, wherever they have it saved. And that's how you add a media file. Once you go back to your course, it will be listed right underneath all your other materials for that course. So again, that's how you have a folder set up for students to drop larger file media type projects in. All right, hope this helps. Have a great day.